to the Great Eights of Target Chronicles, part two. Um, we started the first part of chapter one, and now we're going to continue. Alright, we're really going to finish this part, this, or we're going to um, continue on the next part. I will probably get to the old by the new uh, time soon. Excellent work, were you so good? Hey, that was the part. Ugh, my heart was in my mouth the entire time. It was almost unbelievable. I mean, looking at you in there. You're drenched in sweat. Your eyes are popping. Your knees mocking. And you were grinding your teeth. It was a grim sight. Before I knew it, you started finding inconsistencies in the testimony. I think you might have the natural talent for being a lawyer. But yeah, it's terrifying. I, if I go through, get through this, I never want to see the inside of a courtroom again. <laughs> anyway, it looks like we, we exposed your family lady at last. Mr. Mr. Zelly E. Jared, a student from Great Britain, is she? That's what I was trying to tell everyone from the start. Dr. Wilson wasn't alone. There was the only one with them, like I've been saying all along. Yes, you have, haven't you? Might not be overly confident in the apartment, but my powers of observation are one thing that I'm sure of. Yes, I can see that. So, you're talking about this young gentleman. They, thanks to our detective friend, she had was hastily escorted away from the crime scene, from the scene it seems. Do you see what's happened with that? You see what happened with that? No, I didn't see any of it. I was just on my way out of the restaurant myself. Then the floor, then on the floor next to me. I noticed the gun was laying on the floor. Just as I bent down to pick it up. I didn't have time to think whether the sound of the gunshot that I came from. The waiter ran over to me looking as white as a sheet. He, bun he bundled me into some sort of small pantry next to the kitchen. First, fast thinking by the detective, he apprehended the suspect without a moment of delay. That's because I was just shot in the pantry. I have no idea what happened outside the dining area. Hmm. Ah, there you are. Well done, both of you. Hello. Professor Mikotoba. No. Mikotoba. Mikotoba. Well, it seems I was, I was worried. The pair of you make an outstanding team. You are exceed my expectation, I have to say. Yes, it seems you planned this from the start. You arranged that I wouldn't be able to act as a lawyer in this room. Your our murder country still is an embassy. Our jurist system even more so. Which is why. I firmly believe that we need to send our brightest young stars overseas to learn all they can. I wanted to avoid a situation that may have resulted in your step to, to Great Britain being cancelled. Well, it makes no difference. Lawyer or otherwise, I am I'm kind of the man who can't help but help his best friend of our I found worth the worst case of his life. I shouldn't waste everyone's time by going studying up overseas anyway. What? What are you saying, Gosuma? <sighs> so that's your stance. I was afraid you feel that way. Gosuma? Well then. Looks like it comes down to you, young man. To me? Yes, you need 
need to prove your innocence and uncover what really took place in that restaurant. I must, I must say, I very much want to know the truth. After all, we have a personal connection to this. I have a personal connection in this case. Come to think of it, you said the same thing earlier. Morning, Anthony. Oh, uh, you don't want me asking, Professor. Did you know the victim? Yes, I did. As you probably were, Dr. John um, Wilson was a visiting professor from uh, at Yonica. And it's I who invited him. You're kidding. Anyway, you were about to give go to battle. The victim was an, a university professor from Great Britain, and a well-known at that. Naturally, our governor is looking to identify the, and punish the culprit is, as quickly as possible. Let's not forget we're going up what we're going up against. The gentleman who woman who was involved with the police bureau and went went extraordinary lane to hide. As I am sure that the prosecutor will be every use using every tool at their disposal to squash this case. I have no doubt you that you pair will put up a good fight to the last. Best of luck. Thank you. I need to run earn to the university at once. There is something I I think you might need. Of course. Good luck. Good Court service is over. Please make your way back in the courtroom at once. It's time. Let's go back to it, partner. Let's go there and deal with the size of the before these old fossils know what hit. Um, uh, What? Thank you, really. What for? Well, if it happened to you, you believe me, then I'm fairly sure I've already been found guilty by now. Look, I have faith in you. As a lawyer and as a person. If I'm found guilty in this trial, he's receiving, he's going to give up on his dream, studying a rod. That's the kind of true friend he is. So, this isn't just a battle anymore, my battle. Our rubber against, we cannot afford to lose. Alright then, I'll say the thank yous after the trial. You can treat me the one of the best. I like, I like it, and... What the heck? Those hearts forced of course. <laughs> of course. Wow, where are we past the 12 p.m. mark? Have you managed to subpoena the witness? Yes, Your Excellency. Against all odds. And thanks to a certain young stripling, the prosecution is now under rather painful scrutiny from the government. Oof! Urgh, sorry. Let the government scrutinize. That's their job. It's nothing to worry about. It's highly likely that the good relationships we forged with Great Britain will emerge from this trial on scale. Well, will you still think that nothing to worry about when the he breaks down and our nation breaks down and now our nation's powers? Oh yeah, I'm terribly sorry. If the friendship between nations is really fragile, then the treaty isn't worth the paper it's written on. You really have nothing to worry about, is it? What do you mean? A secret trial, anxiety over some foreign governments, opinions, 
vulnerable investigation, missing witnesses? Is that what our nation's jurisdiction is? Is the Supreme Court of Japan or you? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. you jump. You, you and your friend have nothing, nothing in the situation of our nation finds itself in. Aligning ourselves with the or power of rules, how strong diplomacy has been more than critical. Stand by you for what and what is to secure our future. I will deny that I'm no expert. I'm just a student. And one that could arguably say harder to. But standing here right now is important. There is one thing the country that fails to uphold the truth in its justice system is a country without the future at all. Well said this. Despite the white eyes of that terror. You little brats. Thank you, Consul. The guard's pinnacle is the pinnacle of our nation's justice system. And so system for the pre pronounce of truth. With that in mind, the trial will resume with the next witness of the stamp. The next visiting, the visiting student from Great Britain, Ms. Giselle Brout. Great. Yes. Your Excellency. Ooh. Japan as such as this. See, someone bring this and you'll see and you'll see and eat. In England, no discussion takes place without tea. <laughs> Is that true? No idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> and, um, so it would really possible you to say your name or not. Of course. Cover the head waiter. Yes, yes, we know that already. I saw you, will you mind? Is that true? No idea. <laughs> You're useless. <laughs> More importantly, a little earlier today you said something. You said that you that you and, and are the one thing you were sure of. Yes. I think I. Damn I. Yet, a description was so in the one. I won. Are you? But the powers of investigation aside, your, discre your discretion are so lacking. Ooh. Guilty. <laughs> well, dear lady, once again. Awkward. Uh, I'm tired, sorry, dearly, what? What? Saying that's about. Wait, says her name's Zita. She comes on one in England. She's visiting research surgery, currently involved in Oh, oh my. What a dream. I'm an island to them. What have you said, bud? <laughs> as far as I can tell, the detective's translating her words faithfully enough. Yes, I agree. Uh, you're obviously doing fine in me. In England, cousin, uh, her English doesn't rattle you at all. Don't ignore you. You've clearly been paying attention in your English classes. <laughs> Gord, they taking on Sam. Uh, if you were trouble with the firm, something is right. There's three of the others. The court has been left. Or not. Yeah. At the time. 
Is that correct? Says yes. That could take some time. This could take some time. So even though she's ten and she can't speak Jack any Japanese. to apologize for disappearing from the scene. She said she was due to make a presentation at the university, so he had to leave on my leave. Interesting, when when you were who engineered her to escape, I was just following special orders from the bureau. And now, dearly, would you mind taking your eyes off? Very frightening and, and scalpel sight. Do you mean to say yes? It would appear the lady did witness the crime. Damn. Oh boy. <laughs> Why am I surprised? nature of this frightening sorrow. I think definitely not, are you? I don't carry a gun myself. Obviously, yeah, I couldn't have it. I do agree, but um, not that it's not that. That's... Yes! Can you not do that? <sighs> That's a lesson that you have to let me learn. Ugh, he's so annoying. Of course, I was at the scene as well. I took the statement from this lady to witnesses before we reported back to the bureau. It's decided, it was decided this woman was not well, so I let her go. The testimonies of the last two times were completely worthless, however. Well, even so. On the day of question, Lady was wearing the same outfit she's wearing today. As you can see, she's there's nowhere. In it. So, I wouldn't think she would have got almost anywhere in that outfit if she wanted to. Even we can tell you that just by looking at her. There is no pockets in my outfit. And, uh, no. Don't think about doing anything rash or something. 
I hate them firing on my video hub. There must be another gun. You're right about that. Which means the lady he was holding a gun. That's all I got for now. I see that. I saw. Oh, yes. I saw that friend. And. was able to eat, so I ordered for myself a steak. This probably sounds more testifying more. Yes! He was unable to eat, you say. And that's because he had a tooth removal of the plant, correct? That's right. Uh, you were supposed to act now at the witness before that time. Well, what's Mr. Seems so, yes, cheaper. Was. So that would mean. That this was the. That's right. That's right, yes. The plant. Yeah, if there shows the exact table was left a horrifying event. Exactly as it was left. Nope! Well, I mean. That... Water, some carbonated water. Just water. Yes, the professor was unable to eat, but he had no grim permission to drink water. So it appears the diner was hosted their lunch with a glass of water each. Hmm, they raised a glass of carbonated water. What do you think about the witness life? It's very meaningful. Significance of the statement will become apparent when the time's right. The defense calls the witness last testimony to be formally added to the testimony. <laughs> Very well aside step cancel. Very well, Miss Bright. Something about that's not Never has a time, right? I could really use that phrase. I hope there's more useful tips you're picking up from this experience than that one, Suki. I'm Suki. That does not sound right. Yup. That's correct. The lady says. Well, that is odd. Very odd. Well, there it is. What's odd about the defense is an ability to express itself. I know to me, what is this about the... That looks odd to you. Well, it's obviously in the... Where it told us she and the first person said cheers for the glass of wine. But if it's true, 
There should be two glasses on the table, not one. Ah! Oh. You're quite right, Cancel. That's all. Attention! What are we supposed to fight? We can fight I did not make No. Objection! Huh. You know what you say? Could it be that the detective have removed glass from the table to conceal the lady's present? Of course not. I would never do such a You admit it, but there is so invented two glasses on it. Or are you only that you clink the weight on it? You are quite right. I suddenly took two glasses off up to the table. Doctor, what did the lady say? It could seem that Miss Wright took who took the glass from the table. What? It was so terrifying experience during everything that happened. I panicked, so I should try to hide the fact that I've been there all along, she said. Goodness. Whoa! Yeah, I should have quit before. I was not at all. Oh, please. I must remember that this study had my lunch from Japan and before her eyes. Who would have blamed her for concealing two glasses in this man? That's absurd. Oh, really? I hate to say it, but it's not. We'd like to take. I'd like to know exactly how the lady took the class from the scene. It would seem she slipped into a small handbag she was carrying. A handbag, you say. Yes, Your Honor, Ecstasy. A small hand and a uh, pouch commonly carried to be by a well. So, oh, beautiful lady has to graciously explain why she removed the glasses from the scene now. However, the fact remains absolutely non-glaring in this case. Hmm. The student has been trying to use the part of the license, but in the end, it is perfect. The lady has offers. I think it. the matter further. You're going to need to show that the the has to Yes, you're right. So what she took in the glass away from the handbag? Right? Is there a difference? Pockets and my outfit. I have no. But worse. Well done, partner. What are you doing? Is it really simple? There must have been a set of fire. The swimmer, if you will. You, you can't be seriously suggesting. It's right the house and I got it. Damn. Damn, I day in the mirror. No, sir. I did not. I did not. In other words, I don't know. Just back. Hmm. I want to 
me in what, Pussy Cat? Why on earth did you have not? Abilene opened her handbag to show the contents at the time. Thanks to your bundling and confidence, now she has to endure these uncomfortable organizations. And they really weren't partner. Now we have a chance to expose the But thank God. <coughs> this is bad. Sorry, but clearly you yeah. have faith. No faith in the police. You don't say. piece of evidence here that I get completely forgotten about. I found this photo. You know. Oh! You can see it through it. Something about it. There's no longer room to doubt me. Yeah, I must. Indeed, there is only one. This one I thought was being easy to turn things off. It's worse. Hold on. What he just said. This is gonna be happening. Yes! Wait, you're actually. I don't think you were the case. 
I failed to see any new information with the handbag. My thoughts are not like that. It's spooky sets for reason. Yes, I am desperate, but not this isn't a reason. There's something about this photo that doesn't seem right. If I I only could put my finger on it. Satisfied with your response here. That's why I will be over on me. Do you want me to go there? Yes, right. So, I'm taking a look at the photograph from the next Tell the witch have an alert. It's only one of two things the glass or the hand. This is where I'm gonna have to look it up. <sighs> Golly. I hate saying that. <sighs> Just for this part only.
screw it. So intrigued in the curious shape of this mark. However, as possible, I'm possible. Makes me sound like I cannot allow for the. Your Excellency, I believe the following friend has an amazing invention. Burn. But the photograph, there is one thing we've overlooked uh, um, at the time our records for Lamar. Do hurry up, Rookie. Why are you talking? Like, it's to give me a lady for learning. Yes. 
see, it's very clear that in the photograph, on the photograph, the victim have the usual shape burn mark on it. The reason is the record here for forevermore. What? How? Attention! How am I not getting that? I'm hitting the plate. Hitting that. Yes. Oh. Steak was served on the plate. As you can see, there's an MMO on the plate. I would have guessed some sort of trademark like look on the map. Objection! Yeah, they 
so you gotta take chances with that or slam it, slam it. Thanks. The outline of the bar marks is this mess of, is a sign of all. Go ahead. Such as a serious injury will cause quite some commotion at the restaurant. Why don't you agree, Inspector Anthony? I couldn't imagine having missed such a terrible disaster, certainly. But, but, uh, I want to say looking at the, the wounds, one step. Oh. And, and though it's not particularly large, but it's extremely well defined, as the fans pointed out. There's no, this was no model born, that's for sure. Can you be more specific? Let's see. If, I, if the plate was around 90 degrees um, center of rate, a burn like that would have been taken around 30, 30 seconds. And it's inconceivable that the victim would have let out a scream of pain. And I would have been, I would have investigated the restaurant several weeks ago already, but I heard no anyone scream at all. As the waiter, I can testify without a hesitation. But you, you were not the waiter. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, I'm in some kind of here. And the detective said, anybody who burnt themselves on the third second would swim. There is no question of that. And yet, it's very. had carelessly laid his rest on the plate for anything like three seconds that day, that would be beyond, that would be beyond the careless, I would think, I think. Then the rest of us in the restaurant, myself and this man on the arm, that's what of a question, would I have heard him scream? Or do you agree, Professor Akaji? Uh, well, yes. So I questioned, why didn't this I heard. I almost didn't believe her. Didn't think it. Didn't think it. I don't know. I just think that maybe we've been leading to a When the circle suffered burn, Dr. Wilson hadn't noticed the burn, was asleep. He was already dead. That's the only logical conclusion. That's clearly impossible. Apart from the one particular situation. A council? Are you suggesting? Yes. It's only possible that the man was already dead. Already dead. Knowing what we know now, the only possible explanation? When the B state was brought out to Dr. Wilson's table that day, the professor was already dead. That's... that's... No, Prosecutor, it was you who scratched me out the facts. There's no grasp on the facts. I beg your pardon. As soon as I became, it became apparent that the victim had suffered a burn, burn while in the restaurant, the whole case turned upside down. Or have you no grasp at that yet? Here, the witness of pain. If it's true, now we believe the victim was already dead before the gunshot was heard. 
It's highly that Ms. Garnett knows something about it. Incredible. I still didn't anticipate this twist of events. I'm sorry to this but you will have to forgo forget your lunch arrangement. All reasonable doubt must be dispelled before I'm prepared to pass a check. Thank you for your honor, Sally. Uh-oh. Yes, of course. Oh, wow! Especially... Oh boy. of the English family. So I can show more myself to communicating with you all on your local level. Oh, I would say something about what happened with them, but I think I'll just let you guys make the jokes at home. I will ask you to testify on your own words about the events leading up to the death of the victims. So we're finally getting to hear our own words in the matter. Things are getting interesting, Ronasucky. Oh boy. Fortunately, I have no idea when the poor man was burnt. It was like that. When the waiter brought me this my steak, the professor and I raised our glasses. Up. As far as I heard, the postmortem report showed no possible cause of death besides the gunshot. There is some other way a man's life can be taken without leaving a trace. Please do show me. Yeah, of course, this country is a fair investigation. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that uh, possible, probably wouldn't pick up uh, on it anyway. Oh, wow. <sighs> Most capital may be in the test. Thank you. Easy does it. I hope this is the last time. I have to slip, fully slip my lips with the tone of you. Oh, forgive me. I have my house. Uh, uh, um, this lady is unexcusable. I will be speaking to your country's minister about what happened here today. But the minister of justice. Oof. May lay, lay that a fair attorney bully student be given the harsh pun. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, oh, thanks. How's oh, that really great? Oh, then you have to forgive my application, Barnett, and put up the, what the cost of it. I expect you to notice that the little bully of a student, as you put it, does not miss much. I'm sure I don't need to remind you, Council, that this is the final, your final, this final 
If you fail to determine any problems with this done this test mark, I will go I mean exactly. Someone shot, strangled, or stabbed, thrown from height. However, the person is taking life. There's terror. This is my body. Right, right. There's a lady. Right. This person is going to examine the body of the and not. But this is not right across the way. As I said, I'm also there. There would be physical traits of what all those causes of death just true. But maybe there's some other way of killing someone that doesn't really work. I am. Trevor and everybody doubt me. They're going to have to tell everyone exactly how you can murder that. Otherwise, I'm afraid your argument is false. Flat doesn't. Ugh, she has a point. That back that up. Yes, evidence. Of course, the traffic. Yes! Inferior? What do you mean by that? Yes, he seems to be slightly 
I was born in Swansea. It was, I was born in So, but, but this time, she said it's hardly the woman herself. Let's look at that. Yeah, that was it. All right, then. We'll find something else for the purpose. Detective has been stand with Miss Burn as her interpreter. That things are very different now. For its first this time when it was just listening to what the English woman has to say. Could the this could be the what do you mean? The people are actually testifying. They're usually very careful not to let the same thing slip. However, when someone's listening to someone else speak You'll find they often left their guard down. You're right. Look at him, he's off. It's time. Pursue the man that I'm just trying to die. Sorry, pursue. I'll explain it now. I'm so deep. Catch the person just right at the. If you can catch the right time, you can uncover new information to pursue. Once the people stand, take a look, a look around. First, Just now, it's her. Perhaps I'm hearing her and the ladies next to you had to say. Is there something I say, please share? Attention! What does it mean? Is this the one wall I was trying to tell? are not modern and are as though used in the Great Britain. Which is one of my assessments. First time to make it back in the fall. What do you mean by that? I tell you I won't have evidence 
moment of blackening my mind. I'm afraid to take everything I can from the scene. Trying to preserve it after they see. I don't care what you call me a crime scene thief. I'm not saying what I did. <coughs> I'm seeing Well, looks like the lady remarks touched a nerve there. Ooh. This, this part of me. Oh, uh, she saw something there. What's that? This is the bottle of carbonated water that I took from the table to play the question. And yes, it's lost all its fittings, having been opened three days ago. Well, it was carbonated water. I don't care what anyone says. Yes, there's some left in the bottle, I can see. On the day I place the best place. The time's coming, I guarantee. <coughs> I can't say for my dumb witness is actually, but I do understand this thing. The court will accept the glass bottle as evidence. There's something about that bottle I have to look at. I have a sinking suspicion. I think it's French. It must be very expensive water. Yes, but what does it say? That's why I'm... It's... There it goes. Then go to France. <laughs> you couldn't just say that that you didn't know. I have to check something. Uh, so, so the carbonated water is the last drink. It looks like there's still. Although it's plain water now. You know, I've been sweating so much. I asked the person. I was. I just stopped to have a sip. No, around the Soviet, you can't do that. There's a, For one thing, you have to evidence, and two, you can't try and get it. Oh no, you're right. You don't have to. You. Around the Soviet. Is there a, more ways than one? I wonder. Could there be anything in the water? What's the matter? What have you done? I think I might have worked up something out. Interesting possible.
actually, there's one method I can remember what I'll leave it. Obviously, I'm referring to poison. Poison. On the day of his death, we know it must have been. Could it be that there was poison inside? Uh, could it be that the professor actually died from taking his stuff on the side? I think I know where the poison's coming from. Yeah, where it happened to the poison. Asanaga.
Well, we still have time, so I'm gonna finish wrap this case up. The paralysis of the entire body, the subsequent death, eyes over it. Not even in a minute, does. Oh, I found, I figured that out. By sheer coincidence, perhaps. 
and to deathly point. What? What? A toxin known as Karori. You're a nonsense. It's like a slime. Attention! before was once of only wonder. It doesn't exist in our country. It doesn't exist in our country. Correct. Which means, no matter how it is, they can never die. Why? Because it's not. Poison phrase lace their errors. It was seen as if reasonably known as amongst European doctors and scientists to lace their errors. The report states that the rock was a tract of a, leaf of a tree grown deep in the Amazonian jungle and is brought to Europe in the turn of the of century by explorers. It, claim, it claims and that animals shot by arrows the gray suffer instant death. Does not. Does that sound like it? No. Attention! Visible signs of distress is evidence, of course, what's correct. Yes, explain yourself. One of the toxins is a cause of anti paralysis. In other words, the victim affected loses all strength and all completely unable to move. And if they were totally in agony, they wouldn't be able to you know visible signs of pain at all. How tired. It's obviously, if a man ha lost all of his strength and muscle, he collapsed on the floor. But, with the chair under him, the support Dr. Wilson did, it affect him. But I didn't follow this one. Just, this is just paralysis. I thought the poison would cause, could cause it to death. The full explanation explains him. The poison caused Immediately, paralysis says it's leaving the victim unable to move. The, but after a short time, the paralysis serves to know it's so severe it causes muscle oh, back I'm sorry, to fail. That's perfection. In other words, the actual cause of death was suffocation. And the while the victim was aware, is a conscious and aware, unable to move. That's uh, it is. To observe, I would like to look at the of the victim was skipped, was slipping peacefully into an endless sleep. But the victim himself, find his final moments would be living hell. That is the true nature of a deadly You are suggesting that the bottle actually contains ATTENTION! Uh-huh. 
oath. It's you who must be taught. Of course, I know what she's planning. It's because the carbonate of water is gone. That's why. did it. Yeah, yeah. This is bad. something else. No poison if I Okay. 
special characteristics. It has to be the special character. You've been hearing a lot about the curry poison. And it's left me curious about something. About the council. Well, it sounds like what have been using poison for years. They said head arrows they shoot out while they're hunting. So we've been led to believe, yes? And the point of hunting is to catch the prey. Get to the point, please. But if they were used to use arrows, that doesn't mean they would be traced to the poison left and the prey the hunters were going to eat. Yes, good point. So surely hunters would have eaten their prey, wouldn't they? Because they know that one. But I actually found the answer. These are the favor here. Special under special, it says. Poison starts working after entering through a body wound. A wound you see. I see that makes sense. Yes. The mention of a particular detail was strange to me, though. But it all makes sense when you're there for it like this. When you occur, when a car, re, however you pronounce it, and there's a body through an oval, it would has a terrifying poison effects. However, when it enters the body via the mouth, it has no poison effects whatsoever. What? Respirate? You authorized this resource. You knew. And yes. Uh, you, you meddling with. Oh! I don't think so, Mr. Zelda. You know very well that there's no fail form. You know exactly why you are victims as well as the same poison. You are alive, but don't.
Take that! Toxins left in the parade only left to poison the end of the body through an open wound. So, for a healthy person with no injuries, bringing it is completely harmless. But, what if there was a wound inside the victim's mouth? Inside? Yes, like the wound you might have if you had been the, to a dentist and had a tooth extract, for example. Lady, I felt really had it with her. Objection. this lady.
is who's left. Bingo! Thank you. Say, for instance, the plate of the state deck. Attention! position every the plate stake is almost directly behind the victim. It's almost impossible for the shot to and there's no way that the blood yes. the blood to make it applies to the plate between the victim and the shot. Which means the shooter
This is bad. Bad. This is bad. Mm. Oh, there's a. this lady so much. I'm already playing this case first and uh, I'm already hating this lady as much.
got it. It's obvious. It's the old man. Take that! Obviously, it was only me. We can take the other one. Great. I'm busy on the floor. You're busy on the floor? Sorry, what do, are you doing? Only for treasure. Indeed, broken from Tori for this point. Dogs forced the ball that falls with us. When the case in the court from the courtroom and myself, I became ruined. And a man in a trice, worthy, worthy less of a mother. Misplaced the terrible bit today. It can't be. Mm. As I thought. 
Um, my mess is with in the pool. But where are my mess? Oh, I'm um, not. It's not sure where it was. It's not up anywhere. We found our corn sandwich between the beef steak plate and soaking in the some meat juices. So what that says? I've been bombed by accident. Which means somebody must have hit it there on purpose. Somebody just said, "Wow, there's only a slap of meat and a mental plate." They don't such a thing. wealthy diners, including many foreigners. Recently, there's been some executive thefts targeting restaurants and rich clientele. A number in which uh, ordered the police bureau. Hmm. Wicked crimes indeed. We want to tip nip the case in the bud quickly, especially with so many foreigners being affected. So that's why you were sent to uncover undercover, isn't it? Yes, I took the job of waiter or myself the criminal. It seems likely that this Coven incident is the work of the same deed. Hmm, I'll announce to us the match at work and the restaurant and regardless of the regular basis. This place was already a scene for several crimes, it seems. It doesn't know, uh, I don't know about the master thieves part, but the identity of the person who stole and hid the customer's car is too clear, all too clear. What? Part of the case is over. Mm -hmm. uh, preparing to stand down in the Supreme Court, sir. And he passed out. <laughs> to keep our country safe. I understand the temperance increase of taxation owing the recent end of the conflicts remains in peace in place. And all I've heard and all I've heard is how hard lower ranking soldiers Where's the let me guess. Let me guess, he's a lower ranking soldier. That's why 
sorry you were stealing things at the restaurant. Hey, what place? It's just heavy. There, every, every three days I go there. I do a renaissance for a party. I enjoy coming on my way through with a good steak at the same time. It sounds like he doesn't bother with a knife, fork, or wrist worrying lady. And your target today was the old man coming. No, this is sir. Yeah, he goes up soon, but even more. I slipped the coin. Hmm? The very friend was to eat more. I was also set to leave the steak. I was always happy. We were devouring it when it happened. I knew that the police would conceal the search. It was on me. One part of the case is over. <laughs> it's like everybody's not abused. That is this is ridiculous. Perhaps you could It's got to me. I can't. For picking up their steak and biting it to it without using it anymore. It's beyond nonsense, pure. It's on right. That's what she said. Of the front wires, Benny. Ah! 
I think you know it too, Miss Barnett. No, this was. Does it come I don't, Miss Barnett claim. No English man, man would ever contemplate of picking a steak and biting into it without using a knife and fork. Of course she did, but she was part of the English gentlewoman herself. Now take a good look at the steak in particular. The edge where it's been eaten. As you can see, there's clearly a different little crack barbecue teeth marks there. Ah, oh. oh. It looks like Miss Barnett realized something. So, if the witness she claims said she completely eaten anything without seeing using it, there shouldn't be teeth marks on it. Attention! What is he doing? As I said, I really want to believe I'm going to this. It cannot possibly be more. Of course, of course. Ooh! Oh! Ooh! Ooh! been bitten currently. And the reason why the blood thing I know was now of this here. And most importantly, the evidence that proves that for someone who's Inclusive evidence in this case. And that proves more than anything. Shut up! Plus, I don't know how many times I heard that. You wonder. Right. How can you be sure? Yours is quite simple. If you really had such loose evidence, wouldn't you? Actually, the evidence I'm talking about hasn't been brought to the court yet. But it's good, it hasn't shown up. Does not mean the evidence does not show up. Attention! That's a sort of thing. Already. Objection! I don't. I know, but there is someone who does have it, and it's someone in this court. And that person is willing to submit that. I'm referring to. And that will be the detective himself. Ladies and gentlemen, I can just go ahead and just point that out because I know because it's pretty obvious. Take that! The answer is obviously the inspector has some money. What? I have it. Yes. Focus on the stick or the teeth mark. Yes. Now, earlier this afternoon, Sergeant told us the following. I enjoyed chopping through the good steak. And well, admitting the steak is going to help. So, Jet, you can let it Sergeant Noah, could you please confirm something to me? Was the steak you put on with me earlier, in fact, your own steak? Yeah, not dead shot. Wow. In other words, the stake the detective submitted as evidence earlier was in fact Sergeant Noah's mission. But that makes no sense. The plate was 
Let's take a Objection! Yet, the gentleman doesn't take a bite out of her steak, or does she have any opportunity to steal the coin. Of course I didn't steal it. The suggestion is a thing will be... Well then, how do you explain the paradox? Exactly. Sorry, you suggest... You suggest... You just gave that away, dude! Three, two, one. Er, you did switch the plates. No, after I have them, the, um... Close, by the way. Yes. So, if Sergeant Nelson switched the plates over, it means Miss Barnett's tank and the plate was was back on his team. Yes, that's false. You told the court this. You said that you had not only taken Miss Barnett's plate stake after an answer, but you also but also the sergeant. To preserve his evidence. You had to Ah That's correct. And pleasure the court presented the court. Case closed. This time, wait. Surely you're not forgetful. Not forgetful. So you remember the reason why the state man promised to prove such a problem for you now? You're the one who decided the problem. The reason the prince asked the plate was to confirm something the defendant had never seen. Things he I'm quite sure when I saw Miss Burnett. On the side of the plate, of the behind Dr. Wilson, there was a splatter of blood from the gunshot wound from the victim's tank. I believe the defense memory serves him well. And now we have evidence to prove it. The plate you were using. Case closed. Oh, 
this. It's just a bell bird. It's you. Exactly half a day, the truth this time. And then here is a flea. I was the one who took the professor's life using Karori. I was, as you surmise, I choose a particular day for one very important reason. The professor had a dental appointment for the extraction. One is two feet in the morning. So you plan to kill the professor, knowing that no trace of poison will be found in the water. Because Karei is unearthed in her image. Yes, of course, I never tend to remain at the restaurant for as long as I did. I only needed to see the professor take one tiny sip of the water, and it would be over. I replaced the steak. Like I had in order to find him, in order to make it appear that it would, he had been dining alone. And we were married. However, before any of that happened, there was an unexpected visitor to the table. That would be me, I suppose. Yes, you, Wells. <sighs> But the fact that you decided to come over and greet the professor means that I have lost my chance to slip away unnoticed. And of course, the professor slipped, up, slipped in the water and was paralyzed. I made sure he was sitting in his chair such as the, so he was sitting. There was no going back at this point. I can see that the plan is for the month. You plan the pin on the innocent man. I happen to know the professor always carried a gun. So I decided to use the fact to my advantage. I held the bottle of gray out of my hand in my handbag. And and my own my own pistol concealed under my skirt. Under your skirt. Oh boy. So I was right. There were two guns. Yes. So after I finished the coffee and got up to leave, that's when you noticed the professor's gun, which had you had firmly placed under the floor. Place where you turned. Before the plan, you was gone as I intended. And then, just as you get up. Then, it's when you shot the professor with your own gun. Even though at this point he was already dead. Naturally, the gunshot caused the commotion at which the waiter. which the point the waiter uh, up here. 
obviously, I assumed that uh, not so much well, was on Alyssa Culvert and uh, I took him to the pantry and the wine and the, the lock on the side. That's when I took the opportunity to, took the, to turn to the professor and to Mary. Because, of course, we needed to make it look like we were planning killing the Yeah. Well, there you have it. This is the entirety of my misdemeanor. It's not a misdemeanor. Your Excellency? Yes. I wonder why I speak with you in private later. I shall call you. Thank you. Good day. You can forgive me. Now, I'm still son. But see, this trial has finally run its course. I presume the prosecution is in the room. Getting used to top opponent, top of the position. That's where the pain hair came. A thousand millennium may pass, but still, I die to huh? The I G clan will never measure up to the Naruto chant. <laughs> and that's how the whole thing with which the pain was born. <laughs> and I will believe it goes down to history as a sort of a new chapter on our new country's differences. Despite being summoned as the accused, you presented an excellent case. Thank you so much. In deduction, you unravel the truth in the longer to an economology. After all, it's only been a few short decades since our country opened its doors to a wider world. But the Western ideals of science are rapidly gaining a sentence here. I feel sure science will soon bring a new method of investigation and from and the procedure of justice. A new future of law awaits. But what it looks will look like I cannot begin to imagine. That's far to you, y'all. Yes. After this one, you are set to embark on a journey of discovery. Why do you keep pressing that? Learn all you can. Everything you want, you'll be able to. Do not forget to fulfill your mission and pause to close off on it. I understand. I understand. What was that about? I am never. That's for you. Looking forward to see how much you carried out on me. It's time to deliver the final part. I buy find it the thing in our snuggy.
The court is now adjourned. Oh, boy. This was a lot longer. I can't believe it. I can't believe what's happened. I made it. I made I defended myself and made it through that horrendous trial. Monosuke. You probably pulled it off. Congratulations. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, cousin. Cousin. <laughs> no. It was my. It was a pleasure to watch you work. No, oh, you owe me a large. <laughs> All your hard work has certainly paid off. Congratulations to both of you for proving not a son is innocent. You had help too. I'm not trusting it. I'm not trusting it. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. And that research paper, Miss Barnett. Then I don't know how things would have turned out. You think your kind words really be my father? He, I was simply doing as he asked. It was his idea for me to go undergo to go to university and investigate. Your father? Oh yes, of course. You know, you're not going to do any part in direction. Sorry. You're so assistant for the defense to defend. Speaking of my Katova. There you are. I believe congratulations are in order. Oh, no. You did an excellent job. Thank you, Professor. Oh no, it's, I should be thanking you after all. Your efforts exposed the true criminal that took a life of good friend. Good friend. Oh yes, you mentioned that before. I was actually... It was you who actually invited Dr. Wilson to the Cat University. Yes, that's right. To study overseas themselves. He went to the study for his administration in Great Britain. And possibly, presumably, that's where you met Dr. Wilson. Exactly. Th those days, we worked together in the same hospital. Oh, you worked together. I never heard, heard you mention that before. <laughs> well, it was a long time ago, besides. It's your turn to saw uh, saw you. Great Britain is magnificent channel. It leads to the world of in science, medicine, engineering, culture, and of course the law. Watch my mind. See what happens in the world's largest melting pot. I will. I learn all that I can. I swear on the spirit of the Asnagi clan. I'm not taking that sword to Great Britain, are you? Of course I am. A Japanese man's katana is its whole. The blade uh, shows me who I am. And cut down anything that's in my Yes, I've definitely seen how sharp that it really is in my own eyes. <laughs> I don't know what, happened. what happened to that woman? The judge is alone, but I mean, I mean, she, after all, she's guilty of murder. Oh yes, her. If not, it's not easy to make a but what do you mean? She's going to face it's herself. She's the true culprit. Surely she's going to trial of herself now. She's the true culprit after all. I have a feeling there's a bad news. She will be leaving Japan in the very near future. For Shanghai. What? Shanghai? Oh boy. Isabel will not appear in court again in this country. I'm certain of that. Why not? It's a matter of the as a consular um, jurisdiction. 
Yeah, that's why she asked him to talk to him. That makes sense now. Mr. Hasanagi. I was... It was a hard-fought battle in the courtroom today. Very impressed with the walk. I... What, what is all about about the solar charge station? We cannot try... It's for taking her foreign and her, for her crimes here in Japan. What? We can't try her. But then who? Who's gonna bring her to justice? A British counselor in court will hear a case somewhere far where our voices can't be heard. But well, why do you counsel a court? I, but I simply don't understand. I thought the counselor court is where a thing or a thing in the past. Yes. Now we signed a friendship treaty. Yes, in normal circumstances you're right. Then as long as there's no sin this is not as if this is not a serious incident, a highly political nature to our respective government. They can't invoke the council of court just like that. Oh, can't they? Yes, she can't. Yes, she's a student, so it doesn't specify our government making a secret agreement about her fate, does it? Something strange going on. I'm afraid the young well, that for the young student. Today's trial was nothing more than a game all along. There's nothing there was never danger for any uh for her. Don't for her. I don't believe it. The British government's foreign affairs ministry has demanded that we hand her over to custody hand over custody to Miss Burnett. They are obviously taking her case of a foreign student committing murder very serious. And it's going to change from now on. We can make a change. Make a change. This is the time of great turmoil. A new era held in the 20th century started. One day I have no doubt that the woman will receive the judgment she deserves. Yes, change is coming. It works. Well, I think it's enough services for now. The evening calls for a celebration during the of the of a professor. You're right. No time for a gloom face. We're sure to be celebrating us like it's not guilty verdict. Let's start having fun. In case my nice ideas on my own. I should. <laughs> uh, you're a detective, or so now it's not, aren't you? Let's not worry about the details for now. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> you think eating uh, after a crime you would not eat at the same place, but then again, uh, Trey's bins was a thing. be tried here. I suppose that means I'll never know. I'll never find out why she killed Miss Dr. Wilson. Asuma. Uh, yes, when you're joking. I just wanted to say thank you again. That's all. You really sent me to me. I know. You are the lawyer here, aren't you? You, that defense of yours was your own work. Your skills made a difference though. So one day, I bet you, you will be the best of your own I'm not sure about that. To be honest, something kept occurring to me over and over again during the trial. I got to think that, that you're one of the things to become a great lawyer, not me. Come on, seriously, be serious. I helped you today, it was only right to do it at the very start of the trial. But it was not also talent for being the defense lawyer. Oh no, not me. Oh, 
the tennis bar will come and I never want to go through that ever again. I just, I just do what you told me to, that's all, because I knew I could trust you. That's the point. Sorry? What do you mean? That's the point. I was in Urasaki. Do you know what the most crucial weapon is in the toy or the needs to win? Uh, knowledge of the law? No. Our ability to believe. Believe. To believe in what? To fight for his client. The defense lawyer has the right to fight as a fight for his client. Has to believe in them all the time. Like you believe in me. When I said I didn't do it. I, I'm human, just like you. I don't have some superhuman ability to know the truth. You have to make the good choice about what you what to believe in. And stick to when you're defending someone. Sometimes in court in the courtroom, you can clearly the game can rarely be back in the corner. Being able to remain faithful to what you choose to believe in, even though. Then, well, that's nothing anyone can do. It takes a special kind of person. Hmm. I believe in your client. Just look at today's trial. I'm assuming, I'm assuming wrong with the person's real life experience. But uh, you'll never stop believing me. Oh my. You face seemingly hopeless situation. Time and again. Such was the time again. And again, but you never stop looking for the truth. And in the end, you found it through your own efforts. Because you never stop believing in me. <sighs> Thanks, cousin one. There's something I wanted to ask you, actually, when you're Suki. Well, if it's a favor, area, something really important to me. It's downstairs. What is it? Uh, you still... Are you... Oh, sorry, I'm wrong. I'm right there. Pick up the conversation again later. We should celebrate right now. First, I'm your tour. Ah, yes, that's it. Yeah. So, my very first trial comes, came to an end. Professor Mikotoba and Satoru Sign, who acted as my sister. Inspector Hasanaga, who didn't really play as much of a part, but still. <laughs> it was because of their help support all these people, I managed to get through that trial. But more importantly, if someone hadn't yet managed to ask me his favorite. I realized just how much I would it would change my life. And that's case one. So there is five, um, I'm gonna start. 
Days two tomorrow. No. No. Um, with that said, I'm MGun03. I'll catch you guys um, tomorrow when we start cap uh, case uh, the second part of this game and uh, second case of this game. And, and from the looks of it, it's gonna go straight into the next turn, uh, part. So, uh, but that's it. I'm Adam Gunnels 3. Catch you guys later.